For this week's NRA Gun of the Week, we're featuring the Springfield Armory St. Victor. And when Springfield entered the AR market, they really kind of did it in a disruptive way in that they were a company that wasn't originally making ARs. They didn't come in with a high-end custom build, nor did they come in at the low end of the market. In fact, they came in with very fully featured rifles, but at a really reasonable price. There was a lot of value in that Saint line, and that has continued. The Victor line stands out to me because it's really kind of the duty ready or personal defense style rifle. There's kind of everything you need and nothing that you don't. And that starts with the controls. You're not going to see any fancy or oversized components. All you're going to get is the standard AR controls exactly where you'd expect them to be, exactly where they've been at this point for decades. The one exception to that might be the nickel boron coated trigger, which is a single stage design. It's very crisp and it has that flat surface that people tend to appreciate in aftermarket components, but here you're getting it in a production rifle. Moving to the front of the gun, you're definitely going to see that Springfield proprietary muzzle brake, and it does a good job of really controlling the gases of the 5.56 NATO or 223 REM cartridge that the rifle is chambered for. Of course, there's not a lot of recoil there, but the brake still does an effective job of diverting those gases to keep the gun on target. Moving back, you've got a 16 inch barrel and it's rifled at a rate of one twist and eight inches, which is really, I think, the sweet spot for AR style rifling because it's going to be effective for stabilizing both heavy for caliber and light for caliber projectiles. Powering the gun is a mid-length gas system. And again, I think this is the sweet spot. You pair that with the heavy tungsten buffer. And I think you've got one of the most reliable direct gas designs that you can have in an AR style rifle. Surrounding the barrel assembly, there is a free floating handguard and there are plenty of attachment ports for M-Lock style rails or accessories. On top of the gun, you do have a set of iron sights. Now these are flip up style and they are fully adjustable. So the gun is ready to go straight out of the box. But if you prefer to add an optic, there is a section of Picatinny rail kind of at the back of the fore end and all the way across the upper receiver. Another nice upgrade in the Victor line, and really with all the Saints, is that Springfield opted to use Bravo Company's furniture. So the adjustable polymer stock and the polymer pistol grip are all of Bravo Company design, and they're kind of proven components, so it's nice to see those here. And when you're talking about the interface between the upper receiver and the lower receiver, just like the base model Saints, the Victor does have the AccuTite system, which allows you to tighten the engagement and kind of maximize the accuracy potential of the firearm. So coming back to the idea that this is really the duty ready Saint or the possibly the best option, at least in my opinion, for a personal defense rifle from the Springfield Armory Saint line, I'd like to point out that for one, there's plenty of attachment points for a sling. I think that's kind of a critical bit of kit when you're talking about a personal defense or duty rifle. And both the buttstock as well as uh, just below the castle nut on the lower receiver, those both have QD ports uh, for mounting the sling. And of course, with all the M-lock slots on the fore end, there's plenty of places up there to attach a QD mount as well. Also, all of the metal surfaces from the barrel itself to the internal components have been treated with a melanite finish. This is a very durable finish that's going to increase the longevity of the components. It's going to make the metal harder. It's going to make it more lubricious to make it cycle better. And it's also going to provide an element of corrosion resistance to really ensure that this rifle is not only ready to run now, but it's going to be ready to run for years and years and years, despite hard use and despite the elements. So when it comes to the Springfield Armory Saint line, I think I have to go with the Victor as one of my favorites because it is kind of that hard use duty ready rifle and it fits really well between the great value of the base model Saint and the competition ready edge line. Uh, so for more information on the Springfield Armory Saint Victor, you can go to springfield-armory.com and of course to keep up with the latest guns and gear, stay tuned at AmericanRifleman.org.